It's election season. And so for the next 15 months, we are going to be inundated with information about the candidates. Their positions on everything from foreign policy to the economy and jobs. And the candidates themselves are going to be inundated with information about us. They're going to slice and dice the electorate. We've got the boomer vote and the millennial vote. We've got the Latino vote and the white male vote. We've got red states and blue states. And all of this analysis is supposed to reveal something, reveal who will be the next president, meaning what will it take to actually win the election in 2016? Well, what if there were a simpler way of looking at elections that actually had nothing to do with politics? And what if it were so easy to understand that it, be, it could be explained in a few minutes? Well, that's what we're going to try to do. So instead of talking about politics, we're going to talk about temperament, how the candidates carry themselves. Now, there are four basic drivers to the human personality. I'm going to take you through them. We're going to talk about eagles, parrots, doves, and owls. Eagles are all about results. They're all about getting things done. So how do they communicate? Directly. How do they make decisions? Decisively. What do they expect from those that they speak with? To cut to the chase, to get to the bottom line. When eagles walk into the room, they immediately assume the presence of the person who is in charge. Now, eagles are not emotionally sensitive. They're not psychologically interested in the emotional impact that what they say has on other people. They simply say what they need to say and move on. Perhaps you work for an eagle. Maybe your spouse is an eagle and you know what I'm talking about. It's not that they want to be offensive to other people. It's just that their energy requires them to be as direct as possible. Then we have parrots. Parrots are all about optimism. Parrots have a very positive view of the world, and parrots love to interact with other people. They get energy from being around other people. Parrots are highly motivational, and they love to experiment with new ideas. When a parrot walks into the room, they tend to draw attention to themselves, and they love to have the stage. Doves are a whole different type of energy. So doves try to create harmony in all relationships. So doves are empathetic, they are patient, and they come across as very sincere. Whereas eagles and parrots are extroverted, doves are actually quite introverted. Doves don't have to raise their voice in order to get something done. Doves don't have to draw attention to themselves in a classic way in order to be very influential. Doves tend to work behind the scenes and again build strong, trusting relationships. Last but not least, we have owls. Whereas doves are emotionally centered and emotionally connecting, owls are about accuracy. To an owl, the details are what matter. So owls are very analytic in their approach to solving problems. They're very systematic, and they're very focused on making sure that it's logical and accurate. Now, all of us are a combination of styles. So we can have eagle parrots and we can have owl doves, but most of us have a primary style. And that's what we're going to focus on with the elections. Let's look at past presidents and see if we can uncover a pattern. We're going to start with Jimmy Carter. Now, this goes all the way back to 1976, so some of you may not uh, be as aware of what was happening back then. But in the shadow of Watergate, Jimmy Carter made a lot of sense to the electorate. Why? Because his temperament was very dove-like. He was a trustworthy figure. And after Jimmy Carter, only four years, we got a little fatigued with that, and along comes Ronald Reagan. Now, Ronald Reagan was the opposite temperament as Jimmy Carter. Reagan was an eagle parrot. Reagan went to Russia, the Soviet Union, and said, Gorbachev, tear down that wall. Reagan characterized the Soviet Union as the evil empire. He was very direct and forthright in his speech. But Reagan also was called the great communicator. Why? Because he was versatile. And he had a tremendous parrot energy as well. Morning in America, a shining city on a hill. Reagan was able to evoke optimism effortlessly. And that combination of parrot and eagle served him very well with the electorate. But after eight years, 
of Ronald Reagan, well, we were in the mood for a different kind of energy, and George Bush Sr. became the president. George Bush Sr was an owl. He was the former director of the CIA. He was very careful and analytic in how he approached all of his behaviors and all of his speech. But after only four years of George Bush Sr., we were in the mood for a whole different type of energy, and along came Bill Clinton. At this point, you can probably guess what style he is. Bill Clinton is a parrot. In fact, he got a little carried away with the fun while in office, I think that's fair to say. But Parrott's magnetism, his energy, was in direct contrast to the previous president. And after eight years of Bill Clinton, what was the country in the mood for? A very different energy again, George Bush Jr. Unlike his father, George Bush Jr. is an eagle, a very bottom-lined, buttoned-up personality. When George Bush walked into the room, he didn't feel the need to fill it with optimism and gregariousness, like Bill Clinton, the previous president. No, George Bush Jr. cut to the chase. He told you what he thought, how he felt, and then he walked out of the room. And that's what eagles do. Following eight years of George W. Bush, what were we in the mood for? Another eagle? Well, we had the opportunity. Her name was Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton is an eagle, an eagle owl. But after eight years of George W. Bush, we were suffering from eagle fatigue, and along came a newcomer named Barack Obama. Obama is a dove. Do you remember one of the first things said about Obama when he burst onto the scene was, no drama, Obama. He was calm. From day one, he had a presence about him, a serenity that was very attractive to the electorate after eight years of George W. Bush. And so what we see is that we never elect the same style twice in a row unless we re-elect the same president. Now, why is this? Well, there's a simple explanation. Under stress, we take our strengths and we create weakness. So under stress, an eagle that was at first charming because they had confidence now comes across as overbearing. Under stress, the optimism of a parrot suddenly comes across as being highly unrealistic and impulsive. For doves, when they're under stress, they go from being very peaceful to passive aggressive. And owls move from being analytical to suffering from analysis paralysis. Being president is the most stressful job in the world. And therefore, the overuse of their styles creates fatigue. And after four years or eight years of style fatigue, the electorate is in the mood for the opposite style. And this is what we do time and time again. So, who will be the next president of the United States? Well, my suggestion to you is that after eight years of dove energy, the country is very much in the mood for eagle or parrot. And the candidate that displays the most eagle or parrot energy will be the candidate that wins. Count on it.